Hey Haunters, welcome back. They got some new theme ideas for us to look at, so let's get into them. So for today's episode, I'd like to talk about an abandoned mental asylum idea. And in the background here, I'm showing you a the 20 of 13 Spirit Halloween theme, which will be in the link description below. But yeah, so I want to talk about a possible returning asylum idea, because the asylum was my favourite spirit theme of all time. And it's, it's only been around for a year, and it, we could see it return because of its popularity, which did inspire a lot more people to go to Spirit or perhaps start their own YouTube channels and stuff. So it was definitely a good theme for that. But so I want to say I hope it's going to come back because of the uh, level of detail they included in this theme. As you can see in here, you can see like fences and fenced off areas. The backdrops really added some life to the uh, overall scene and it they had some brilliant animatronics which I still love to this day like the death row the the what was that like wheelchair psycho not the wheelchair grandma and I think just the uh, the idea of an abandoned mental asylum is just a nice pretty creepy idea like you could they could probably put some of their uh, sitting or standing props into certain areas like let's say you have the John Doe corpse sit on a hospital bed and then rise up and then you could have the uh, broken girl return and have in in little corner, which could be implemented into a walkthrough idea, like the uh, SS Reptide kind of thing, a mini little walkthrough zone. All right, so ideal props plus returning props. So here I'm going to list some of the props I think would be ideal to return for the steam if it were to happen. So first we have the broken girl or the broken spine girl to some. She was introduced back in 2013 in the attic theme with her two other animatronics went with her, the Lunging Lily and the Peekaboo Penny animatronics. Uh, she was a very good uh, prop, but unfortunately broke a lot. But, you know, they could redo this prop and reinforce her support poles and make her a bit more sturdy. Probably give her another mechanism instead of the uh, band thing that kept uh, breaking everyone's stuff. But, you know, we'll just see how that turns out. So I think she could be in a corner of a room. The Levitator Girl from 2017, from the uh, Area 31 theme could be implemented into a bed, uh, like just because in the 2017 theme she was simply placed on top of a shelf and had the hand activator which was super cool. So maybe we could have like a hospital kind of activator, so maybe like you press the button on the uh, like the heart monitor machine and it would do something to her to make her activate. I don't know, maybe they could do something like that. Another prop I would love to see again is the convulsing nurse. Uh, I have no idea if they can uh, make this one again or produce them, but I just love this prop because of the way she looks and it would fit the asylum theme perfectly to think that she's still looking after patients even though they probably all died and turned into ghosts and stuff. So that would be a pretty nice touch to the uh, prop lineup. But other than that, I uh, don't know any other props that could fit the theme that well, except from, of course, you know, Death Row and uh, the, some of the original ones from back in 2013. But we'll just see how that turns out. 